Police arrest a former paramedic for a Louisville ambulance company. He's accused tonight of sexually abusing a 15-year-old girl. The teenager and her mother walked into the Vine Grove, Kentucky police station on Monday and told them about the relationship between her and the 31-year-old man. 11 and 11's Alex Schumann just got back from Hardin County. He's joining us tonight live. And Alex, how long do police believe this, this relationship was, uh, had been underway? Well, Doug, police say the relationship has gone on for at least the last two years, which means it started when she was 13. Officers asked the girl to text this man some specific questions and then partly used that as evidence to go arrest 31-year-old James Ogg. It's disturbing to us as a community that this goes down, that this happens in this town. Police arrested 31-year-old James Ogg on charges of third-degree rape, sodomy, and sexual abuse. The chief of police in Vine Grove says the relationship went on for two years, started as phone messages, then through time progressed into a consensual sexual relationship. During the time of this crime was being committed, he resided within walking distance of the victim's home. The warrant states Og and the 13-year-old had sex at least 15 times between April 2012 and October 2013. Police say he would arrange meetings with her via text message or phone and then sneak in through her first floor window early in the morning. Police say Og did work for a Louisville ambulance company as a paramedic. He also used to serve on and off as a volunteer firefighter in Rineville. The fire department chief says he never noticed anything about Og that would suggest he'd be involved in this type of activity. The chief of Vine Grove Police says this is another example for why parents should keep an eye on their kids' electronic devices. And I'm not faulting this young lady in any way. Whatever her reasons were to come forward, we're glad she did. And I'm glad we could help her out by, by getting this guy off the street. But if the parent had been maybe a little bit more mindful of what was going on with their child, it might have put up a flag that they would have, could have encountered it earlier. Og is being held at the Hardin County Jail, and Vine Grove Police say they expect to bring more evidence and file even more charges against Og. Reporting live, I'm Alex Schumann, 11 at 11.